neutral spine, we're talking about normal curves. If you were to say, okay, what exactly is the angle of neutral spine? Most of you know already that there is no specific angle of neutral spine. It's um, every person's spinal curves vary. So when I'm working with somebody, the way I like to find that neutral spine is to have them lay down and land. I call it landing, land with their legs bent in the hook lying position. I have them take a few breaths and relax. That position to me is going to be their neutral spine position. Some people will have a bit of an arch. Some people will be pretty flat. Um, but that's the position I want to support when I work with that person. I'm not going to ask them for more. I'm not going to ask them for less. I'm just going to try and support what they have naturally. That might change over time with strengthening, with balancing out muscles, but there should never be a strain when somebody's in that neutral position. Also, keep in mind that that neutral spine position is going to change. If the legs are in down or the legs are in tabletop, it's going to be a little bit different, right? So legs down, I'm going to have a little more arch. As soon as I bring my legs to tabletop, even if my pelvis is still down, my spinal curve gets a little flatter. So then if we're working in that position, we're going to support that version of the neutral spine position. So again, it should never be painful. We should never force a change in that neutral spine. I've gotten clients from other practitioners who hurt their back because of that, right? So we don't want to change the neutral, we want to support it. Here's the lumbar spines in sort of its neutral, pelvis neutral. And this would be a lower back flat against the ground and pelvis in retroversion or in a posterior tilt. But some people are going to be able to do this neutral spine and neutral pelvis at the same time. I can do that, but I have nearly no butt, right? I have no, like, not very much meat back there. So somebody else, somebody with what I love to call a luxurious bottom, right, is going to be in more lumbar extension here. And therefore, when they're laying flat, they might be in a little bit of an anterior tilt of their pelvis. So we may not be able to achieve this neutral spine, neutral pelvis at the same time. This would be an anterior tilting pelvis. This would be an increased lumbar lordosis. This would be a posterior tilted pelvis, and that would be a flattening of the spine or a straightening of the spine. We can also have tilts that are lateral. So keep in mind that when we walk or when we don't fire properly in our muscles, or sometimes when we stand on one leg, or when we go up a stair, we're gonna have a lateral tilt in our pelvis, that's normal. Some people end up fixed in that lateral tilt. Um, people who have scoliosis, they also often have a lateral tilt or even an anterior or posterior tilt um, in compensation. And we can also have an anterior tilt of one side of the pelvis, not always both together. And that's a whole nother discussion that we'll have when we get to the SI joint.